wanted to share a little bit today about finding God and seeking God. You know, I was thinking this morning about how much of a wonderful and blessed life I have. You know, I look at my family and I, I can say to you without a shadow of a doubt, you know, I have got such a wonderful family. I have got a beautiful wife. She is so fantastic in um, what she does and, and how she's nurtured and raised um, our children. And we're a large family. We're a family of seven. I have got five um, great kids and all of them, they love God. They want to do things for him. My oldest ones, they're, they're also serving God um, in many different ways. And it is just so wonderful to see that um, as a parent. And I look back um, on my own journey as well. And I have to come to this conclusion that the only way that I could ever be in this position and my wife as well and our entire family is that we made a decision to seek God and you see I see so many people um, in life and they're chasing so many things they're chasing um, happiness, joy, contentment, fulfillment, all these sort of things. And you just sort of find that they get to a point, but then eventually the whole thing just bottoms out. And you see, the reason why you can never get to that place where you can find what you're looking for is because the things of this world is not going to give it to you. I mean, you, you, can, you can go for here and there just for a little bit and think that you've, you know, you've made it, whether it be you know, your house, car, money, finances, whatever. But eventually, you just say to yourself that, hey, you know, there's still something you know, that, that's, that's missing and you know, it, it's, that there's just something wrong. I just don't seem to be able to just you know, get to that point. And the reason is, is because God is not in it. Now, when it comes to finding God, when it comes to seeking God, it's not something that you can do with your head. It's not something that you can do through logic and reasoning. Now, I've even got someone at the moment which I've been sharing different things um, uh, with uh, about God. And, you know, he's been asking about God things. He's been um, comparing things with different religions around the world, science and um, all that kind of thing. And you see, the thing is, is that I can bring somebody or anyone, you can bring someone to a certain point where we can state the case and we can bring all the evidence, the teaching, um, any, everything that um, we know about God, who he is, what he does. We can talk about Jesus, about who he is and what he does, but we can only bring that to a certain point because from there, there is something that you still have to do yourself, this missing component, and that is faith. Okay, so you see, you can't seek God with your head. You can't seek God with logic and reasoning. You can't do it. It's impossible. Many people have tried to do it and it didn't work. Now, believe me, I tried to do it and it didn't work. Okay, so the only way that you can seek God is with your heart. And that is where faith comes in. I like to describe it this way. You can look at a chair and you can look at every aspect of it. You can look at the legs, the workmanship, the quality of the materials, its subatomic structure, everything that you know that you can tell about that chair. But the ultimate test of the chair is if you sit on it and you trust that it's gonna hold your weight when you sit on it. And you see, when it comes to the things of God, you can try and uh, work everything out, reason everything out, and you can even get to the point where you're even starting to confuse yourself about the whole thing. But the ultimate thing is where you don't 
seek him with your head, you seek him with your heart. The Bible says, I believe Jesus said this um, in, I think it was either uh, Luke chapter 6 or John chapter 6. Oh, I just can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. But he said that my word is spirit and life. Notice it doesn't say that my words are logic and reasoning and life. And I promise you, I, 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 I've seen this time and time and time again through my own life, through the life of my family, my wife, my children, that when you put your trust in God, get ready for a most adventurous and fantastic life. Now, it's not always gonna be easy. There'll be challenges along the way, but I promise you that you'll never ever be bored and you will live the life that you would love and enjoy and be ultimately fulfilled. Now, if you um, have never made that decision to seek God, to trust God, you've never made that decision about who Jesus is and to have him in your life, what I'm gonna ask is after this video, click on a link below in the description here and that'll take you to a place where I will lead you in a short prayer for you to ask Jesus to come into your life, for Jesus to come into your heart. Have a great day. May God bless you richly.